Oh my god! What is up fam? I hope you're having a great day today. Welcome to a really cool adventure. Got my friend here, Savannah. Hey from Gatorland and a hey, big shout out to Gatorland they invited us to come here and, and hang out with them today this is an albino gator gets confused sometimes with the uh, leucistic right uh, but these are a little bit more common than the leucistic alligators leucistic they look kind of albino kind of like my friend Robbie's alligator that went missing but we're gonna we're gonna hold this this little guy he's not gonna bite me no, 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 no. really strong okay. <laughs> look at that whoa Hey, Whoa, he's so other. cool. It's like a, it's like holding a lizard. <laughs> okay, he doesn't like me. No, he's being good. He's, they're just <laughs> oh, really okay. wiggly. He's wiggly. Oh, I get to hold two? Yeah, you can okay. hold three. Can I dangle them from my ears? Um, It's a bigger bite than a <laughs> lizard bite from your ears. But I'm just, you I'm just kidding. <laughs> Look at this. Look at these cool little guys. Can I give them a kill? You can give them a kill. Not when they get older though, right? No, when they get older. Now if you, whoa, 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 Really? That you're seeing. That's why they look pink like that. And you, you, you can tell these these guys apart already. So um, the biggest one, his name is Huck. This is Huck. That's Huck. One of them has a 37 on their back. Let me see. Okay. Um, the littlest one is Ellie Mae, so that's her. And then that's Sawyer. Sawyer, so cute. They're all they're all really cute. Well, <laughs> you can you can see the the web feet right here. See that? How old are these guys? These are about a year old. A year old, okay. Yeah, they eat good in here. They're kind of VIPs. <laughs> That's awesome. Now, a couple years back, we have a video of Pearl, which is another albino alligator, and Pearl has gotten very big in the last few years. Yeah, for sure. Pearl used to be, I don't know, like a three or four foot gator. She came in as a Pearl baby too, big. right? Yeah. Did you guys have her this big? Um, we, yeah, Pearl was here when Pearl was this big, and, wow. uh, it's huge now. Now, these guys cannot live in the wild. Why can they not live in the wild? Because they'll get eaten. They'll get eaten. Because they other look alligators. so delicious, like, for a bird flying over. Listen. Well, listen. Listen. He made a cute little noise. <laughs> So birds can see them, they don't have any natural camouflage, which means not only if they are easy for things to eat them, but also they can't sneak up on their food. Oh. Uh, so they won't get food either, cause... They don't do well in the wild. Uh-uh. You think there's any of these in the wild right now? Maybe, like every now and then I hear about one that somebody finds, but it's not very often. Maybe once every 10 years or 20 years or something like that. So they are rare. The leucistic alligator looks very similar to the albino, but they have little spots of green and they're, they almost look like little birthmarks. They're so cute. <laughs> um, there's only like, what, 10 of them in the world? Or? The leucistics, there's yeah. 17. 17, okay, yeah. very rare alligator. Now, how did you guys, um, I mean, did these come from like a mama and a pop gator that were? Um, I know, lots of times animals come to us because people know that we know how to take care of them. So right. I oftentimes don't have the backstory on a lot of our animals here. So uh, these kind of came to us that way, and uh, they'll grow up here and they'll live here forever. They get fed really good. Which, by the way, we are going to be doing something. It's educational. <laughs> Probably going to get a little hate for it, but I'll let Savannah explain that for us. Uh, we're going to be feeding a Nile crocodile, happens to be the, the man-eating type crocodiles that, that people know about. They're in Africa, right? Yeah. yeah. And they eat more, Nile crocodiles eat more people than any other, all the other crocodile species combined. They eat the most? Yes. But still not crocodile. as many as hippos eat, let me just say that. Because okay. people love hippos. That's and hippos eat a lot of humans? Hippos don't eat humans, but they, they do kill, kill more humans. Oh, wow. Listen. Oh. You're talking? It's safe. Do it so again. Cute. They only do it when I talk loud. <laughs> Look at those little teeth. Look at those little teeth. Cool, huh? They're awesome. I love their little webbed feet. You can see them <laughs> so good. You want to hold one? Yeah? Mm. Oh, I wish Malia came so she could... I know, she would have loved this. Alright, this is going to be a great adventure today, by the way. 
Big shout out to Savannah. She has a YouTube channel. I'm going to leave a link down below. Show her YouTube channel some love. Thank you. She does a lot of videos here at Gatorland. She feeds a ton of gators. Not just gators, though. Florida Panthers here. We have Bobcats here. <clears throat> uh, the majority What's that of other big cat that you guys... Uh, um, oh, you're really close the to that. <laughs> oh, yeah. We have an African serval here. And yeah. most of the animals here are rescue animals that have come to us from either FWC or people that couldn't take care of them anymore. Or and... people calling because they have a gator in their pool. <laughs> <laughs> that was the funnest day. Yes, it was. Can we your pool Omar? looks so amazing now. Oh, it does. It's so different. Can we see him? Is he here? It'll take a couple of us, yes. Okay. We I hear he's really him. mean. Super mean. We'll get him out, but it okay. takes like probably four of us to wrangle oh, around with boy. him. He's a little <laughs> wiggly guy. Look at him. Woo! <laughs> He's but people mouse. people come all the time and they're like, where's the marketer? Where's the marketer? And we uh, want to put him on display. He's uh, just so mean. Which, oh, which oh. one's this Go, one's Give him to Savannah. <laughs> oh, oh. I'm just kidding. Look at these guys, man. They're they so cool. They were little and they would eat. You could see the food going into their insides. Oh, really? Yeah. It's they like clear? Yeah. Like, it almost looks like Godzilla swimming. <laughs> All right, here, I'm gonna give Ellie Mae back. On, Ellie Mae is so chill, she didn't wiggle at all. Come on, baby girl. You ready to go home? There you go. <laughs> all right, fam, so you know how much I love animals and I hate seeing animals in captivity. What they do here at Gatorland is way different. I I've had some people reach out to me because, you know, I, I did a, a whole video about SeaWorld and you know how I was against how they have the dolphins and the orca whales in captivity. Uh, this is different. Uh, this is a rescue. Some of these gators, they end up getting killed out in the wild because, hey, let's say one day they happen to come into your pool or go into a business establishment where it's outside, you know, like Disney. You know, that's happened before too. Sometimes these trappers go out and, and they'll kill them. Sometimes they do relocate them too, but Gatorland does get some of those gators. And you cannot compare this. I mean, they're, these guys right here are in the wild. I mean, look at this. This this is like their natural habitat. Most alligators don't even get this much action. I mean, there's a crocodile over there. There's a couple guys over there hanging out with some guests. I mean, this is like the wild. Now, when I was at SeaWorld San Diego, the orca whales had just a quarter of that pond over there. That's all they had, which is sad. This right here for an orca whale would have been a lot better. But this is, you know, this is more than enough for an alligator. Orca whales, they swim for hundreds of miles. Uh, definitely against it, and they're very smart. We're getting that exclusive back door. A couple years ago, I did a meetup here, and we had about 500 people show up i remember i was back here and i was peeking through the fence and there was a huge line and i hugged talked it was great every single person that came to that meetup we got to connect and it was right around the corner it was great i have a video on it if you want to watch it i can't believe how many people showed up that day. no and it really wasn't 500 because we kept up it was over a thousand people came no yeah it was over a thousand people came because we gave them a different price right so right. we kept up with how many people came it was definitely over a thousand people and to your credit like standing there in that hot sun and taking a picture with and hugging and talking to every single person, it was hot that's unbelievable <laughs> oh well thanks it was fun it, it was a, a really fun experience and big shout out to gatorland because they gave every single one of my fams a discount and it was like a very good discount it cost like maybe between 20 and 30 dollars to get into gatorland and they charged them like 10 bucks they got to meet me, hang out with me, and they got to experience Gatorland. So that was cool. That was awesome. That was one of my best, that was one of the best days here. It was. So they have a leucistic alligator over here. And there is a regular alligator mixed in with that leucistic alligator. Remember I was telling you how they can't be mixed with regular alligators? Well, the reason why this gator is with the leucistic alligator is because the it looks like a regular gator i guess they have a gene to be a leucistic alligator so it's like they know crazy but here's a new addition to gatorland and i mean look how beautiful the water looks it's really clear water that's being pumped from a spring 
So this is like very, very clean water. Now these alligators, they need a lot of shade. If not, they'll, they'll get burned because they have uh, no pigmentation in their skin. So they put these shades, you know, here for them and see if I can get a, a close up. So there is, I forgot his name. That's the leucistic alligator. We're gonna go in there in a second and there's the regular gator right there, but and he's slightly smaller. And then Pearl is in the next enclosure over there. That is a leucistic alligator. So I mean, you can see the difference. They, yeah, they are like a lighter color, but they have they have little like birthmarks on them. See that? That's a big boy too. That's gotta be like a maybe a 10 foot alligator. Very rare. And Gator Lane has a couple of these guys here. Pretty awesome. Say cheese! I think he wants to eat you, busted. Look at that mouth. Uh. So there is Pearl right there. And they just found out that Pearl is a boy. So just to show you the difference between an albino alligator and the leucistic alligator. So though that other alligator right there um, is a female. So they're, you know, Pearl has a couple girlfriends. There is another albino alligator over there female but yeah they just found out pearl is a male so he has two girlfriends here but yeah these guys out in the wild they would get attacked by other alligators too from what i hear it seems like they're doing well here like pearl could not be in the breeding marsh but look at this really nice area that they made for pearl super cool it has also like the the spring fed type water and Pearl has some shade too, a lot of shade. We're gonna get in there a little bit, feed Pearl. Pearl was so little, like just a couple years ago. And now Pearl's like a good six feet long. Cool. Look at those web feet. You can see them really good on the, on the albinos and leucistics. They kind of blend in on the darker colored gators. Come here! Wanna eat my hand? Wanna eat my hand? We're in a real live swamp right now. So one thing I love about Gatorland is they they put these gators in their natural habitat, which is in swamps, things like that. I mean this is this is at Gatorland right here, but we're in a swamp if you uh, see those little stumps right there those are for cypress trees i hear that they're like breathers they help the cypress tree roots like breathe there's a whole bunch of them see they're like little stumps and that's for probably for that tree right there helps that tree breathe and you see them a lot around water I'm not seeing any snakes around here all right fam so just a bit ago we did a live stream if you were at that live stream Big shout out to you. I also did an Instagram live. It was like a thousand people at my Instagram. I've, I've never done an Instagram live. I didn't know that that many people would join me live. So thank you so much if you were there. So if you're watching this video a couple days later, just to give you an idea, sometimes it take take time like editing, you know, these videos uh, a little bit different than live streams. Live streams is like, you know, now, instant. But we were feeding Pearl. Pearl looks a lot smaller. Oh, shit, he didn't like that. Yeah, he's like, I'm getting out. But Pearl is really, like, lazy. But it was cool. If you missed that video, I'm going to leave a link to it. There is a chance that you're not able to find that video because I unlisted it from the public. But I don't know. Maybe I'll leave it up. I'm still going to leave a link. I'll leave a little pop-up link right there. Check it out. But anyways, we're going to go see those crocodiles. I'm going to show you the difference. Someone asked a really good question on my live stream as well. They said, hey, there was actually a really couple good questions, but one of them, which is very common, what's the difference between a crocodile and an alligator? Very different. And they're still technically crocodilians. Crocodiles have like a longer pointier snout. Alligators are a little bit more wide. And alligators are mainly found in North America. And I just found this out today. Supposedly there's alligators in China, and but they're small. They're very small, it's a Chinese alligator, right? Yeah. And they're an endangered species, too. Uh, crocodiles are pretty much all around the world, huh? All around the world. There's about 24 to 26, 27 species of different crocodiles. But we're going to feed the biggest and baddest one today. 
the one that will eat you. If you see one, run. We're gonna do something gnarly. And honestly, we never did it before at Gatorland, so we saved this thing for you. Oh, sweet. Yeah. Well, well, thank you. And today's a special day. Today? It's World Croc Day! Yep. World Croc Day is a very important day, so we like to show you the power of crocodiles. World yes. Croc Day! <laughs> and what you guys are about to see is gonna be absolutely crazy. It's yeah. gonna be great. I'm, I'm super excited. Like, I'm always excited, but I'm super excited about this. Yeah. Yeah, me good. too. I've, I've never seen a cro I mean, this is what crocodiles look like. This, this is the closest to what we're gonna see a crocodile like devouring another creature in the wild. And we're hoping that we can see it like, what's it called? Death roll. Death roll. Yeah, do I a death roll. I love a death roll. And like, if you're sitting at home and it happens, you have to chant to yourself, death roll, death roll, death roll, death roll. Because that's how you do it. If you saw the movie Crawl, when they got to the death roll, like we had the whole entire theater from Gatorland yeah. when the premiere. And everybody in the theater was going, death row, death Were they really? Death row. Oh, man, I would have loved to have been there. We were a rowdy bunch for the crawl movie. <laughs> we really were. Hey, let, let's show what we were feeding the gators here. Oh, come here. Yeah, it's nice and smelly, too. Oh, here, let's get the gloves out. Oh, look at that. Yummy, yummy, yummy. What, what is that exactly? So that's just red meat. I mean, we get a lot of meat from a lot of different places. Uh -huh. And... All the meat that we get here at Gatorland uh, comes from animals that have died from either natural causes or believe it or not, a lot of cattle get struck by lightning here in Florida. Yeah. So we get a lot of the, they call it dead stock. Even and horses. Goes, horses too, yeah. it goes to a processing plant and then we get it in here and we got a treat in, uh, in last week's meat order or this week, whenever we got it. I don't know when we got it. It's but a big treat. We <laughs> saved it for you guys. It's okay. gonna be great. And that's where we're gonna possibly see the death roll, death, death roll, death roll. Death Death row, death row, death row. That right there is an American crocodile mama. Supposedly she has some eggs somewhere or a nest over there. And that's a, a, a Nile crocodile right there. That's what we're gonna, we're not gonna be feeding that one. We're feeding them a, a bigger one than that, big I think. One. Real big one. And then that's an, an American alligator right over there. Just to show you the difference. So they can coexist. They can't breed together, but they can, they can hang out together. What happens if they like try to breed? Is that possible? Like, dude? No, they can't. Like they now, uh, an American crocodile can breed with a Nile crocodile, but it's not. It's not preferred. Right. But it can. They can have babies. They can. Oh, okay. And they'll be American Niles, but then it's a hybrid, and then it kind of throws off the whole system. So we don't do huh. that. I got you. Whoa! What the heck? Look, look at this. What is that? I I'm gonna guess. Maybe a, a, a farm animal of some, a goat? Maybe? What do you think, Savannah? I don't know, man. Uh, what do you think, Omar? Uh, I... <laughs> 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 what is he? Uh, I couldn't tell I you. Think it's big. It's, <laughs> it's big. Let me know here in the comments <laughs> what you think that is. Here's the head right here. Here, take a look. Wait, what? No, what, no, the, no. what is no, that? That's, that's the tail. tail. Oh, that's the tail. Oh, I thought that was like a skull oh, or something. Oh, that's the red Oh, that's cage. the head. Is that corn? Oh, it is a oh. piece of corn. So what? Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's a it's a corn eating. It's oh, there's something. intestine and everything in there. Oh yeah, this is gonna be great. This is this is like filet mignon to a crocodile. Yeah. Okay. So I know this is gross to us, but crocodiles and alligators need to eat things like this. What a better day than World Croc Day! I'm excited. Who's excited? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, this, All of our meat comes from a range. That's, that's a big animal. It's Florida, big. It's hey, Donnie, how, how much does that thing weigh? Uh, if I had to guess, I'd say maybe 20, 30 pounds. Oh, okay. Maybe a little more. Oh, I'm, wow. I mean, I'm bad with weight. I haven't, put, I haven't been on a scale in a long time, Omar. I haven't. You, you look know. good, bro. Thank you, bro. <laughs> hey, don't put that one part next to your face. Okay. I thought it was really heavy. Oh, you know what? I might lie. That's yeah. Thought. Maybe like 40, 50 pounds. That's what I thought. Boston, grab a piece. Oh, man. Oh, man. I'm just kidding. Here, just here kidding. Boston. <laughs> that thing's the size of Boston. Oh. I might have to throw this thing over my shoulder. Oh. Uh, hey, you could put it on your head like a helmet. Look, your head would fit in there. Just you ready? Kidding. Okay, That's here we go. The biggest piece of meat we've you ever really had gonna... at Go ahead. Is it really? Oh, you did. Oh, oh, gross. Gross! All right, Donnie, you have the award now for grossest person at Gatorland. <laughs> this is like a parakeet paradise right here. Just everywhere. 
Now, Savannah does not recommend going in there because you can go in there when you come visit Gatorland, but you better really like bird poop. <laughs> Because they will go caca on you. Look at that one's just chilling all by himself. Well, now he went with some friends. But there's so many. How many do you think there are in there? I don't know. I mean, it's, it's some of the girls from Animal Care were here, I can find out, but I don't really know. Ooh, cute. That one's so They're cute. Not cute as little V, though. No, little V is little adorable. Little V is the bomb. <laughs> <laughs> Lil Via own all these guys in here. Oh, oh poor no. Donnie. Look, he's got like blood all over him. Yeah. I'm sorry. Donnie, uh, you win grossest award. That's all right. You know what I mean? Uh, it's just gross right now, but I'm doing it for a good cause because crocodiles need to eat. And who else is going to carry the 50 pound piece of meat that we have? You know, someone's got to do it. Someone's got to do it. <laughs> you don't think they're going to fight over it? There's some big boys in here. Probably. Have you seen him yet? No. No. We gotta call him. I've never seen Lyle. Oh, you haven't? No. Oh, get That's ready. the only stick we have. We might need to take... Well, you grab the stick. I think we'll be all right. Oh, there he is. Where? Right here? Oh, that's Lyle? And here comes oh, my God. Lyle, Lyle is massive. Crocodile land. So that is a man-eating crocodile right there. <laughs> oh, yeah. How big would you say Lyle is? Uh, easily 13, if not 14 no, feet. No, he's 14 plus. He's Probably. bigger than feet. anything here. He's just incredibly hard to measure. Trying to get him to sit still while you're putting a measuring tape near him, it's impossible. Wait. So, we're... We're, we're gonna we're gonna try to feed him this whole thing. We're gonna try to get him up on land. What do you think about that? I think get him on land for sure. And he's pretty good about it. He's probably gonna swim all the way over there to the ramp and uh, he's gonna walk right on up the ramp. That looks like a it looks like a dinosaur. Dude. I'm very excited about this. Johnny. Awesome. What's this right here? Uh that is <laughs> so, you know uh, those aren't Paul. It's Bob, we got a baby, it's a boy. <laughs> I think he smells it. You think he can smell wow, it? Oh smell? he smells it. Yeah. He smells it. Lyle, Did you notice you earlier when you were in the white alligator, as soon as I brought the meat, they all smell of them it. moved. Yep. All of them. Now you guys got to think, these, these Nile crocodiles out there in Africa, they scavenge a lot of food. They hunt a lot of food, but they scavenge a lot of food as well. They have a great sense of smell, and these guys know. Oh, snap. Oh, I think he oh, wants oh, to. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, he smells it. Oh, he smells it. Oh. Oh, yeah. This is going to be gnarly. Oh, yeah. Ready? Whoa, all these guys are jumping in the water. There's a lot of big crocodilian over here. He kind of owns these guys, huh? Yeah, but you know, the thing about Lyle is, he's really young. So I don't think he knows his own power yet. Oh. Like I think, like he kind of lets them do whatever. There's some big, these, these are like 12 foot alligators. Look, look at that right there. Wait, wait, I know that. Is that Jaws? No, but Wait, it looks like Jaws. It looks like Jaws. Oh my God, look at this guy. That's a big gator too. These guys are all huge. Now, just to show you a size comparison. Dang. All right, there's a difference between an alligator and a crocodile. See the snout? A little bit different. I mean, they're very similar, but the alligator's mouths are a little wider. See that? They're right there. Oh, oh, oh. You don't think they're going to fight over it? They might, but you know, that's kind of an exciting thing for crocodiles and alligators to do. Like we don't encourage their fighting, but if they want to take it away from each other and with this piece of meat being as big as it is, uh -huh. it's going to take a little cooperation for them. Okay. Oh. I don't call it fighting. I call it cooperating. Cooperating. He's ready. Lyle's oh over here God. now. He's going to walk up right here. Who else is up there? No, don't let him come up there. Come here, Lyle, over here. Lyle. Do you want him to come up here on no. land? No, because I do on land, but he's gonna he's gonna walk into the, the split rail over there. Oh, uh, who's this good looking guy right here? Hey. Yo, these guys are so big. You can do whatever, yeah, we're ready. Here's the thing, alligators can't eat you too, okay? Absolutely can't. But bigger chance of being eaten by one of those guys right there. And now crocodile. What? That's a net. Oh my god. There's a nest up here? Oh, is there a nest out here? Oh. They never nest out here. Okay. 
Is that a female right there? That nest will not spoil our plan. Okay. He's growling at us. Watch out for a Nile crocodile, but an angry mother alligator who thinks we're up here to mess with their nest, which we're not. So Lyle just got onto the land. This is 10 times more dangerous because there's a nest. There's a nest over here. Oh my God. What the hell? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here it is. Uh oh. Get him over here some more, Johnny. Lyle. Lyle. Oh my God. Lyle. He's like, get out of the way. Not you, Gator. Lyle. Come on, buddy. Not you, Gator. Oh gosh. Oh, my There's a nest right over there too. Oh sh. Lyle. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, he got it. Oh! Closer. You're good, you're good. Look at him. Yeah. Oh my god. Ooh, oh, ooh. wow. Ooh. So you gonna do a death roll? Come this way. Over, yeah. the, over the split rail. Okay. I'm not gonna get eaten, am I? Okay. There's like gators everywhere. Watch Omar. Okay. So we're surrounded by crocodiles and gators. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna watch behind. You guys okay. watch him and the other gators. Okay. okay. Because he might try to come through here, because sometimes he does that. Oh, he's got a grip on it. Dude, that's gnarly, right? What? The bottom jaw is in the rib cage. Did you see him walk up here? It was pretty vicious looking. It's like, like he knows what day it is. So that's the, that's the nest right up there? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that got me. That got me. That got me too. I didn't know what was happening. Are you going to eat that? I'm going to go jiggle it. What? You're crazy. You're Donnie. gonna j Woo, Donnie, Donnie, be careful. Is dedicated to World Cross Day. Wow. Oh, 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 oh. oh. He's taking he's gonna do a death roll. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Tiffany, can you film with your phone sideways? Oh, yeah. You have an iPhone, right? If yeah. he comes closer to you. You don't have to film now, but if he comes over there, this is going to be crazy. What? Oh, he's going to flip that around all day. He's going to flip. Yeah, oh, Lola, he's going to do a death roll. Right now. He's going to do something. I don't know what he's doing. He's just got, like, his teeth locked into it. He's never had anything that big. Never. So you think he's gonna be like a dog and like buried in the ground or something? No, like, <laughs> no, no. There's no burying out here because if he lets it go even for a second, these alligators are gonna take it. Ooh. You know, I mean, it's World Croc Day. I say once Lyle eats this rib cage, you and Omar dig in that nest and see if there's Oh eggs. yeah, have you ever dug No, I've, eggs? I've never done that oh, before. Oh, we'll do it, for sure. Yeah, I mean, me and Safety Shark are gonna guard you guys and okay. see if, if you find them, we'll recover it, we'll collect them tomorrow. All right. How Sorry. exciting is that? Looking for alligator eggs. By the way, they hit, They have a huge, I don't know what you wanna call them, um, colony of raccoons. Yeah, we have a raccoon problem. <laughs> they have a raccoon problem here, and the raccoons sometimes get to those nests and eat up the the, the eggs of the gators, it's real bad. But I guess they've never laid eggs here in this little island. This is like a little island. This is cool. A right, little island right now. All these gators are starting to come now. They think we're gonna feed them. You know what's really bad? All oh, what? Huh. Is now that I held the piece of meat on my oh. shoulder. Oh, you I probably smell, smell like like the food. Yeah. So bad. you can be gator food right now. I smell like their dinner. Look That's why they're all coming. Look. Look at it. It's gross. <laughs> <laughs> They're all coming now. Oh no. Oh dang. Oh. He's gone with that piece of meat. He's not even eating it. He's just like locked onto it. Doesn't even know what to do with it. Uh oh. Careful, Savannah. Oh wow, look at these guys. This is kind of a bad spot to be in because like you're surrounded. You're on an island and you're surrounded by gators. And there's a gator nest behind me. <laughs> I mean, th these guys are everywhere. Like, there's a man eater right there below me. Here. Look at these guys. They're like, feed me. Oh my gosh. He's okay, watching our backs for us. Which is great. He's on the move. Oh, he's going that way. He still has, has the piece of meat in his go mouth. Go get a shot of him swimming on him. Yeah, he's, he's going that way now. 
He's just trying to avoid everybody. Oh. I'm about on that bridge and see if he's catching. Okay. See all the bubbles? Okay, he's underwater. He's all the way out there now. Donnie, you got your phone? Yeah. Look at that. He's just having a field day with that piece of meat. Wow. Look, he's all the way over there on that old building almost. Where? Oh, there he goes. Wow. Dang, look at that. Safina is crazy. She's trying to find Lyle right now. He is nowhere to be found. He went underwater with that carcass. Maybe he went underneath the building. We legit lost the Nile Crocodile, also known as Lyle. He's gone. He's enjoying his filet mignon. I'm gonna do something really crazy right now. He was hissing at me just a minute ago. Um, so, I'm gonna... You good. I'm right by the nest, by the way. This is mama. I think it's mama. No, it's not mama. <laughs> okay, not doing that again. So if you guys see something like that in the state of Florida, it's not caca. It's probably an alligator nest. So, I would run. It looks like there's something white up there, too. No, but they bury them. They bury their eggs. A lot like how turtles do. But they usually put a mound like that. We have to be very careful that Mama Gator don't come. We are going to we're gonna dig through there, though, see if we can find some eggs. We're going to need some people to watch our back, though. we got to be really careful. So, this is an alligator nest. Somebody watch this one, Donnie. This alligator. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a big get in here. Ooh. I know, right? This is sketch. Super sketch. <laughs> All right. We should spend the night on this island one night. We can. Yeah. Let's do it. All right. I mean we might get eaten while we on Alligator it. Island. Oh yeah. yeah. That's it. Let me know in the comments if you want to see Savannah and I set up a tent right here. Yep. And spend the night on Alligator Island. Yes. I love it. Okay. So this is an alligator nest. And you can see some of the stuff they put in it. Like they put all kinds of debris in here. Oh! Oh, is oh. that an egg? Oh my gosh! No! Right yeah, there? Yeah, that was so fast. So when they lay their eggs this shallow, it's never good. Never, ever, ever good. Because this is how the raccoons and everything. Oh, they can You get just to scared it. me so bad. Sorry. Okay, so here we go. That was quick. Dang! Wild. Where? Where? I was just seeing him right come up really Oh, over there. We keep losing him. He just put his head up with that thing in his mouth. Oh, he's right there. I see him. There he is. There he is. He's there right he is. over there, straight ahead. And he still has, I, I don't know, it, I I think it's a, a little raptor. It's a dinosaur. Yeah, he's still got it in his mouth. He's being very shy with it because he doesn't want these guys to get it. So he's gonna be hiding for for a hot minute. Whoa, look. Oh, dang. He's tearing it up. Dang. Oh, here comes some other gators. Oh, he's gonna put them in check real quick. Here we go. Uh oh. Oh, the other gator got it. Oh, a bunch of gators are coming towards it now. It's like a gator pinata. Oh my God, I'd hate to be that dead carcass right now. They're all going over there. Look at all these guys. Dead roll. Oh, they're dead rolling. Damn, look, all these guys are going towards it. Watch your back, Matthew. I know. I was already thinking about that before. Look at Savannah, she like does no she doesn't care there's like a man eater right behind her. Like she's just chilling. <laughs> that was cool. But where where is the carcass now? Right there. Come here, Omar. Come up here. Okay, I'm coming. Just gonna walk right by this man eater right here. And that one too. You stay right there. You stay right there. Oh, it broke off. He only got a pee. Oh! Then they're all fighting for it. Lyle, Lyle abandoned it. 
He did? He let it go? He abandoned it. I think he filled his belly already. So they got little pieces of it. Yeah, cooperation. Ah. I don't even see it. I don't either. Well, I'll just went back under them. Yeah, this guy over here, I think, has a piece. Larry, come uh -oh. uh, Larry. Okay, um, I'm. Larry. I'm a. Larry. Oh gosh. Larry. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> you gonna feed him your iPhone? No. Yeah. Larry, look. What I got? Oh my gosh, we're Larry, getting. Look at that. Oh, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. All right, sorry for the squirrel moment. Oh my God. We had to take advantage of that. Right. So this, whoever laid these eggs did not do a very good job building a nest. Usually that means it's a first time mom. A rookie. Yeah. How but many eggs do they usually lay? Around about 30-ish. 30 eggs? How big the mama is. Oh my so gosh. we got one egg here, but it's, this is not going to live because oh, feel no. it. You want to feel it? Yeah. So it doesn't have well, it's, its hard outer shell. It's really soft. Yeah. So alligator eggs have two two shells. Uh -huh. So they have like a hard outer shell, which is cracked, and then a soft inner shell. But maybe if we get a little deeper, we can find some more. Or those might have been just the last pass. Like they might have dropped out on the way out. So those won't, those eggs aren't no good? Are you watching us? I got you, girl. Yeah, those eggs aren't any good. So there's probably more, but they might not be in the same spot. So these are gonna be, like, you see how they're all cracked already? Yeah. Yeah, those aren't any good. And they make like a carpet almost mm -hmm. with all this debris. And what happens is, as this stuff decomposes, it generates heat. So it's like an incubator in here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, I see some. You do? Where? I thought I've seen some, like something white There's right more there. in here. There have to be. There's no way this nest. Oh, here we, here we go. Here we go. Come on. There's no way this nest is this big without anything else being in it. Watching this guy right here. You have to watch for the mom because as soon as she can smell we're digging this, she's going to come. She's going to be mad. Yeah. And we're not taking them to be mean. We're taking them so they live. Mm, there's another one. That one's cracked too, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Oh no. And then here's probably what would be some good eggs over here. So with these eggs, the embryo attaches to the top. Do you know how chickens and birds, they rotate their eggs? Uh -huh. So these guys don't rotate their eggs. That's a good egg, huh? Uh, it's probably not fertile because I see some juice down here. Here we go. There's a big there's always like a big, there you go, there you go. Oh, they're all broken. They're all broken? Yeah, I think good. from the weight of the alligator? Uh, if, if these big ones that we saw when we first came out here were laying up here, they may have cracked them all. Uh, Just another reason we collect them. Cause they're heavy guys. Right. Look at that, they're all broken. Oh, there's a good one. Oh no. Hang on. Let me try to push some of this off the top. Yeah, you can't dig these nests with a shovel. I don't know how they put these together. It's like magic. Look at that. It is. They know what they're doing. Isn't that crazy? So there you go. Wow. Oh, there's the good ones. Oh, all the good ones are there. Yeah. Oh, you can see they're all like a different color. Yep, they're all super white. So she yep. probably laid as much as she thought and then some other ones fell out. Yeah. There's After a bunch. Wow, look. So because we're not prepared for this, because we didn't know this was out here, we're just going to cover it up, and then tomorrow morning we'll come out here. And get them? And we'll collect them, we'll put them in the incubator. Sweet. Yeah. So there's a lot of babies that are born here at Gator Lane. Yeah, but our alligators are distributed, like the babies are in educational programs, all the way up into Michigan, where Brian Barczyk is. Oh, cool. And all the way down into South Florida for different schools and zoos and places like that That's cool. that one's probably not good either but there you go boston you want to see an alligator egg yeah wow yeah this is a you can see tell how it's one's, light it's not fertile it's not fertile right that one's fertile though want to see how long will those take to eventually hatch 
About 60 days. 60 days. Wow, that's not bad. There's so many in there. Yeah, most of them are cracked though, but it looks really cool. Can you huh? see like through them? Like, do you guys candle them? So we do candle them. Yeah, hold it. Yeah, you can hold it. Just don't turn it. Like, hold it exactly like I'm holding it. Yeah, like don't turn it like that. Yeah. Okay. He's like, he's so scared to hold it. <laughs> can I hold it? Hold it? Yeah. Like, why is it so bad to like turn it? Because if you, so the embryo uh -huh. will attach right here. Mm -hmm. And so if you turn it, it, it it'll get unattached oh. and it'll die. Oh. So I don't, I don't know that these are very good, Donnie. No. But there might be a few we can salvage tomorrow. Those ones on top look all right. Yeah, they don't have any, these ones are good, but these are all on top. Yeah. These are not good. Yeah, you could even smell them. You want to you want to put the non-good ones on top of the good ones. That way, if a raccoon makes it out here, they eat those. Um, maybe that might be a good plan. But I'm gonna cover these back up. Cool. That was amazing. I've never been this close to an alligator nest. <laughs> never seen eggs in an alligator. I've seen an alligator nest at Robbie's. And there was a mama laying right on top of it. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, we're going to go help Robbie pull his Cuba and crocodile egg soon if you want to come. Yeah, I'd love to. That's going to be an adventure. Yeah? Oh, that ain't God. the same as this. <laughs> it's different? Yeah, it's super dangerous. Do their nests look very similar? Yeah. Yeah, okay. All right, so we'll just take these and kind of put them as an offering to the raccoons if they come they'll eat those and then they won't eat the rest an offering to the raccoons yes like please don't eat the rest of these have those because they're diggers yeah never do what savannah just did right now <laughs> i mean that's look we were digging through an alligator nest like two feet away from an alligator well this gator i'm going to show you he's here from florida and Actually, from my hometown of Tampa, he's 13 and a half feet. I have showed him in vlogs before. He's a massive alligator. The reason why he's enclosed in this this area right here is because he's very, very mean. And he ate a dog. He ate someone's dog in Tampa. It was, I believe it was a German Shepherd dog. He's a dog-eating alligator. So I wouldn't put it past him, gator like that, maybe eat you. So probably another reason why he's back here now you might think it's cruel you know like them keeping them back here but chester believe it or not he's a rescue obviously they're looking out for the other gators too safety but they were gonna kill chester and gatorland stepped in they're like no 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 don't kill him bring him here we'll take care of him for the rest of his life and feed him every single day but th when they got him in tampa the trappers they were going to kill him and i mean he's just here living the best life ever what there's a raccoon coming right towards us. No. Yeah, he is. Oh, there is a raccoon. Oh, it looks like a little dog. Running, running at us. Okay, let's go look. He's one of those raccoons that you can pet. Wanna go pet him? No, you're not petting him. No, where is it? Hey, by the way, Gatorland is closed right now. We're just kind of exploring on our own. They have this area right here where you can pay some money and you can buy like bags of food to feed the gators, which is pretty cool if you want to feed a gator this is where you need to come to Gatorland. don't do it out in the wild they also have goats here too what the Whoa. he's up there he's, he's up, up there. there look oh look 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 how cute look oh my gosh <laughs> you guys have good eyes wow look at that wow hey little guy what are you doing oh my god <laughs> Come here, I want to pet you. I want to give you a kiss. Oh, it's inside there. Where'd it go? It's going inside of you. Oh, he's about to steal some, some oh. Gatorland food. So it's inside of that. He just like slid down in there. Wow. Oh, wait. Oh, come here, Boston. Oh, no, it's secure. Can you see him up there? No, it's secure. No, he went down. Went down? Yeah. Matthew, he's right behind you. <laughs> Look at these guys. They're such good climbers. But they do have goats here at Gatorland and they also rescue these guys. I was gonna take one in one, one time from, from Gatorland here when I lived out in the country. That's where we went in and got our zip line stuff. Yep. A little bit ago we were having some snacks and like some drinks. They told us that where we were, tons of raccoons be coming through there and like just about every morning they come and check and sometimes there'll be one stuck at the bottom of a garbage can. Oh look, he's on the roof. Look at him, cool. 
They are good jumpers. Oh, he's meowing. Oh, that's the bobcat, uh -huh. though, right? I think that's the bobcat, yeah. That's not the, the serval's way bigger. Oh, here he is. He's Where? Oh, the, yeah. Oh, there's the serval, though. There he goes. Yeah, he's huge. <laughs> Remember, we had him hanging out with us. Yeah. That's a big kitty. That's a big kitty. That's yeah, like twice the size of that bobcat. Oh, we have those in the wild here, the bobcats. Mm -hmm. cool. They're just big cats. They're cool. Like big domestic cats. We're going to try to sneak up on the raccoons. See if they're trying to eat out of the trash can in the little snack area. And it's so cool coming somewhere where there's like nobody. I don't know. Hopefully it's not an alligator on the loose. Well, this is where they do some of the alligator shows. No raccoons over here. Oh, look, there, there are gators here. Chilling. Yeah. No, don't go in it. That's probably what that noise was. Mm -hmm. that Wait, why like Look, check this out. They're still doing the whole, you know, social distancing thing, which is great. Savannah would call me and she would ask me to, to come by and visit because the animals, you know, during all the months of COVID-19 where everything was closed down, all the, everything was closed down in Florida, animals were actually pretty depressed because they're so used to so much human interaction and they didn't get that. And everybody, all the workers were coming here, volunteering, spending time with the animals. And they said that they were just so sad. So it's it's good to see them back open. By the way, they're only letting 25% capacity back here in the park. So if you want to come here to Gatorland, Orlando, it is open. Make sure to come here early so you make sure you have a spot to go in. Yeah, because once they reach that 25%, they're not going to let any more people in unless maybe some people go out. So this is the... Like the snack area. So sometimes raccoons will creep up in there. You see any in there? Might be too early. No, there's no room. No? No. Go look in the trash can. Oh, look at the. What the heck? Whoa. That claw machine's moving all by itself right now. Look. Guys, this claw machine was moving all on its own right now. What the heck? You guys seen that, right? Yeah. I wonder if I was able to capture that. I mean, I was kind of far away. I don't know. Maybe they do that. I don't know. I was filming something right now, and... I came back to where everybody was at and they're gone. More time for you. Let's go this way. So Savannah was really trying to document the Nile crocodile eating that big piece of meat. Uh, I think I have to go this way. So she kind of went off. So I figured while she was doing that, we'll kind of explore a little bit here at Gatorland before the sun goes down. I've been here at nighttime. If you want to see some of my videos here at Gatorland, check them out. We came here at night me and the Ireland boys, and we spent the entire night. It was really fun. What the heck? That was weird. These are emus. I don't know what that noise is. These guys are cool. But yeah, we were exactly where we're going to be right now. I'm going to show you. It's called the Breeding Marsh, which is pretty active with alligators right now very aggressive alligators and at nighttime they are super active and they're not used to people being here at nighttime especially right now when I come and hang out here at the breeding marsh they're gonna be like wait a minute like there hasn't been any humans here in hours so what's this guy doing here but at nighttime you get a flashlight and you just put your flashlight in the water and all you see is these beady red eyes pretty cool here's a little map of Gatorland and they have some really cool zip lining it was voted like one of the best zip lining in the world I mean where else can you go zip lining over some freaking alligators yeah right here I'm gonna show you and I've done it before I got videos of me doing it oh look at all these guys are going in the water look they know that I'm here see they're very active 
they just love people but look there's one of the zip lines right there and it goes right over the breeding marsh that's one of them they're all going in the water look at that it's a bunch of them let's go over here right over here you can see there's only one gator but they'll be like i don't know i want to say like a hundred just all here chilling you do have a nice hand washing station this is where you come and with the help of savannah people like savannah my friend michael brown very awesome guy by the way he'll grab your phone as you're filming he'll put it right in the gator's mouth if you got a GoPro, I mean, I'm talking about like just hundreds of gators lined up there just waiting for you to feed them and you can go over there. It's pretty cool. You should definitely do that if you come here to Gatorland and visit. A lot of people go to Disney and Universal, man, come to Gatorland. A little bit more affordable and it's, it's Florida wildlife for you. You get to be one with nature and bird poopy up here. All right, fam, so this is the breeding marsh. That's where earlier I was standing over there and you know the bunch of gators started jumping in the water. They they really want to eat us right now. Hey! Hey, gators! Let's see if I can get them to come over here. Come here guys! Come here! Come here! Come here, give me gas! Come here, give me, give me, give me gas! Oh, they're coming. Look at this guy. He's coming. He's coming. Come here, buddy! How you doing? You wanna give me a kiss? You wanna give me a give me a give me a kiss? Come here. Come bite my hand off. No, I'm just kidding. Don't do that. Don't do that. Oh, they're all coming. They're coming over here. Yo, if I had some food to toss their way, well, I mean, I'm telling you, you'd never see this much gators in your life. Like, there's just so many of them. Wow. I'll pay you $5 if you go for a swim right there. Psych. Look, look how many gators I got to come, like, over here. Are you calling them? Yeah. I was like, gators! I'm getting bit by Skeeters. Yeah. You too? Yeah. All right. So Savannah and I are thinking about, you know, you should join. No, I'm okay. Yeah, why I'll not? I'll stay with kids. No, I'm good. It's going to be also, I think Donnie's going to be there. And uh, who's the guy that was with us today? He was kind of watching our backs. Really nice guy. Yeah. Big shout out to him. Him and his boys were watching our backs, make sure we didn't get eaten. But yeah, we're thinking about setting up on that island that I showed you earlier and putting a tent out there. And we're also thinking about coming out here to the breeding marsh and putting a float and floating in the water with the gators. Most we'll savage that. birds ever. That is the most savage bird ever. It's like Savannah if she was a bird. <laughs> that would totally be Savannah. Like that bird's just chilling. If you want a bird, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. That bird, he's about to get eaten. Okay, never mind. They're not even interested in the bird. Who's this guy? Craftsman. Oh my Craftsman. gosh. No jumping. Does he jump? Yeah. You want to see him jump? Yeah. Can I, see, can I hold your camera? Slide can, it to can we me. put my very, camera in his very mouth? Slowly, very slowly. Yeah. <laughs> Crash <enough>. Whoa! <laughs> oh, is he okay? So Craftsman Whoa. talks. Craftsman is a really old alligator. I had a friend of mine who is an alligator and crocodile trainer in India come here. And Craftsman always comes up all the time. And when he comes up, he greets you. He goes, <laughs> every time. So we reinforce that so that when we have people come to the park, Craftsman always says, hey. Craftsman, say hey. Craftsman, say hello. No jumping. <laughs> say hello. Woo! <laughs> Craftsman's pretty grumpy. Too excited. Awesome. And then he wants to jump. All right, fam, just wanted to show you around Gatorland, give you the whole adventure while we're closed here. And hey, huge shout out to Savannah from Gatorland. If you guys come and visit, make sure to ask for Savannah. Let her know how much you love her and what she's doing and how much you love everybody, like my homie Donnie for being <laughs> here. And shout out to his wife too. She is a tattoo artist down in City Walk. She's gonna maybe tattoo me one day. Yes. We'll see. I heard yeah. she does some really nice work. How cool was this adventure? I've never seen a crocodile eat like that before. So happy crocodile, what World day? Crocodile Day. World Crocodile Day. Death roll, death roll, death roll, death roll. Death roll. <laughs> and we got the peacock singing over there too. All right, so if you guys come down to Gatorland, make sure to um, don't 
just ask for Savannah. Go up to Savannah if if you could find her and say death roll, death, death roll, roll, death, death roll, roll, death roll. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to follow Gatorland Orlando and their vlogs. They got an awesome vlog channel. Links will be down below in the description. Gotta go for now before you leave. Give me a kiss. Peace.